All right, everyone, now it's time to discuss YouTube because it's become a glitch fest, um, coincidentally right before the 2020 election. It has nothing to do with wide sweeping algorithmic changes as the result of their fear mongering paranoia about disinfo from Russia now, does it? No, when you change all the code on the site and, and apply a global change, it can't cause any wonkiness. Do you remember like, oh, was it 2014 or something when they were making some major design rollout? I can't remember what it was. Or even with like Cosmic Panda before that, which 90% of you don't remember. The site became almost non-working for weeks at a time. They decided, to, instead of doing this months ago, as, as reason would suggest was a good idea if you were genuinely concerned about election interference by foreign states, why would you wait until the last week of the election? Because let me, let me give you a laundry list of problems that people are encountering on site. And I've experienced some of these as well. I've had people complain that there's no audio in multiple videos, either just mine or videos cross site in some cases, sometimes on all devices, sometimes only on certain ones. It's inexplicable. Um, lack of HD processing or very belated HD processing. Like yesterday, I uploaded three videos. Two of them, right now, 24 hours later, are still trying to become HD. The third one had no problem with it. I had three videos the prior day that had the same issue. Finally, 24 hours later, they all processed. Well, I think actually one of them is still in limbo, but, you know, it, it depends from time to time. I'm wondering if other people are having this problem. I'm uploading in 1080. They're only available in 360. They can't, they can't even get a 480 version of my videos up after 24 hours. So essentially, it looks like I filmed myself with a potato. It's like I'm going back to 2008 at this point. Hell, I think I had 480 and even at that point. It's a pile of bullshit. Nobody's being notified of uploads. It's not going to their feed. They're not getting notifications on their phone or whatever, even if they've clicked the bell and they like and subscribe and they interact with the content, but they haven't seen anything in a few days from you, Sticks Hexenhammer. By the way, it's several other users that I subscribe to many of which are political commentators, another total coincidence on site, by the way. Um, and then some people saying that, that the videos are just completely unavailable. They try to actually watch it. They're like, whoa, I've got YouTube premium or whatever. Now, I was trying to watch it on my TV and it wasn't available. Or I tried to watch it on my phone and it, it played, but then I tried to watch it on my computer and it didn't. I could see it on my computer, but not on my phone or my TV. It, it's crazy talk. Uh, the, the idea that this is coincidental, that they would decide to nerf their own site right before the election, I'm finding that a little bit hard to believe. I think it has more to do with scrambling independent commentators who right now are setting up for one of the biggest events every four years and who have disproportionate influence over core audiences. Fox and, and CNN and stuff, most of their audiences are desperately partisan to begin with. YouTube has spent the last four years pushing them off on people to the point where I think there's an app that'll actually block them from being in your YouTube search results. Like it'll literally block the mainline networks and the missing link media out, which I applaud you. I'd, I'd like to uh, uh, potentially look into using that on my computers because uh, half the time the related videos that I see, it's like 99% Fox News. Well, I don't, I don't want to always see my competitor on there because if you're doing current events and political analysis, you're kind of competing with the legacy media, missing link media and pollsters as well as other independent content creators, all of which virtually are algorithmically throttled left, right, and fucking center at this point. I think even like Pac-Man was complaining about that a while ago. Well, as AdSense dries up, and nobody's getting notified. So, you know, a liberal commentator, a syndicated one, close to being mainstream media, sort of like a left-wing Rogan or something like that. I mean, Rogan, he took his, uh, his toys and left because of these problems in part. Not that he's not having even worse problems at Spotify, it sounds like, but, <laughs> you know, at least he's having different uh, problems in a different venue so he can feel better about himself. And of course he gets a hundred million dollars. That sweetens the deal a little bit, even if you have to deal with bullshit all day. Um, it's totally coincidental though, everybody, the fact that this happens, you know, a week before the election. It's coincidental. The fact that the HD videos are, are suppressed, the fact that you've got constant problems with loading the video in the first place, even in potato mode. And apparently there are some people that have data restrictions, so they watch me in, in 144 or something like that. I don't understand that. Like, you have really primitive uh, uh, internet options in Vermont, and I've never had any problem with even watching things HD. 
I don't understand. I, I didn't know that there were still people that had internet that was metered in that way. I thought that was sort of a thing of the past. I guess it's more of a thing outside of the U.S. and Western Europe, although I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, what's the point? And, and, and YouTube, when I queried them on Twitter, it's funny. They're like, well, sometimes it can take a while for it to process because of different upload speeds and stuff. I'm on an Amsterdam connection. Uh, it's got very, very fast internet, especially compared to what I'm used to. The video uploads fine. It just takes forever to process. For a while there, for a few days, I was having trouble even getting videos to process at all. Now they process the standard definition pretty well. It's just that in order for people to watch it outside of potato mode, it's problematic. Well, I mean, dude, I, I literally, things are processing faster and in higher definition on every other video site that I'm using. Whether it's Odyssey slash library, BitChute, Dailymotion, or Brighteon, or, or if I do a standalone Minds upload, I can at least get 720 at 60 FPS, and it doesn't take that long to process. It's available within a couple of minutes. Not fucking 24 hours. I wish that they, I wish that they would just be transparent about it, though, and say that, yeah, this is related to attempting to throttle uh, political and current event-related information. It has nothing to do uh, with a general glitch on site that's the result of anything we needed to be done. Um, we probably planned it ahead of time. And that's uh, presumably the real truth. Again, coincidences of this kind, uh, again, a company like Google, they got it figured out. It's, you know, the largest, or I think Amazon and Apple might be larger, one of the largest firms in the whole world, one of the largest tech firms. It's got the leading eggheads of all time figuring things out 24 seven with thousands and thousands of people on call at a moment's notice to fix even the slightest problem. And they've got billions of dollars and redundancy and, and tech monkeys and all, all of this stuff. And yet they can't figure out a basic timetable for rolling out supposedly protection of the election or a new algorithmic change that they swear up and down is not related to politics and will actually help the site. I just find that a little bit hard to believe. That's about all. Peace out.